I do believe that the biggest challenge facing Arlington is the challenge of affordable housing. Affordable housing makes uh, uh, access to affordable housing helps children to be able to better be prepared to learn in school. It helps make it easier for us to attract and retain a great workforce and a diverse workforce. It makes it easier for people to raise a family. It makes it e easier for seniors to stay in our community. It contributes to our economy and to our emergency preparedness. So I believe it is our greatest challenge. As a county board member, I would continue to do what I have done as an advocate, a commissioner, as a professional at the federal, state, and local levels on affordable housing. I would promote best practices, which Arlington has done, in part because of, uh, of advocacy from many advocates, some of whom are in this room. I would work to expand our tools. Uh, I would expand the financing and funding for affordable housing. I would make sure that we did more on first-time home ownership so that young people can both afford to stay here and also to raise their families. Thank you. There are a lot of, a lot of challenges that are facing our, our uh, county. Um, honestly, I would say transportation is the biggest one. That's more of a regional issue. But internally within the county, um, even though I, I believe the school board is going to be wrestling with this one um, and has been for the past uh, six years or so, so, our school overcrowding, elementary middle school in the northern part of, of the county, I see is our, is our biggest issue. Um, the schools are estimated to have 35 additional uh, students, and um, there's no real foreseeable plan um, uh, to be executed. Um, where does that come <laughs> on the county board side? Well, obviously, if, you know, if we decide to either um, build, build new schools if, if there's room, or if um, we have to renovate schools and make them bigger, then we'd have to issue a bond. And um, with, with the... Uh, with how people are feeling about putting bonds on the ballot, um, if we have to go, if we have to go in that direction, it may get a little contentious. I actually want to talk about three things, but I'll limit it to one. What I'm hearing on the doors is a significant concern about density, and this really boils down to smarter growth. People realize in Arlington that we are going to grow bigger, that we are a bit of an urban village, but at the same time, they want to keep their identity to keep their neighborhoods. As we create our sector plans, Crystal City, East Falls Church, R&B Corridor, the list goes on, they want to make sure that we are protecting our neighborhoods and that we are protecting people and pedestrian and bicyclist safety within these neighborhoods. It does boil down to density, but it also boils down to making sure that our roads and our public, service, public services also support that density. I think our biggest challenge, actually, as I spoke on when I, in my opening remarks, is managing change. And we are in a time of unprecedented change. This is really a pivotal era uh, in time for Arlington. And I think the only way we really can do that is to, be do, is to start doing some really good overall strategic planning. Because we've got a lot of exciting things. We've got streetcars. We've got um, aquatic centers that, that we think we want to do and I think would be great. We also have our infrastructure that is not doing very well. I think the maintenance study that uh, led by Mary Hines at the county board did recently is excellent, a good first start to making sure that we're taking care of business first. Uh, so overall, when it comes to managing change, we need to know what our priorities are. And I don't think we're clear about that right now. And I, our, I will say for me, our first priority needs to be our core services. We need to make sure that we have uh, our good infrastructure, we're maintaining what we have, public safety. I think as I mentioned um, at, at ACDC, our police force has not seen an increase in 10 years, and we've grown quite a bit. Uh, education, a safety net for our most vulnerable. We cannot approach all of these complex problems without some real strategic planning and some difficult conversations in the community because we can't afford to do it all. The biggest challenge? Well, I think that first of all depends on your point of view and what personally interests you. Now, why am I saying that? Because in reality, it varies from person to person. But I think that as a county board member, your biggest challenge is whatever the constituent standing or sitting in front of you tells you it is. All right? In other words, it's not just one thing, and you just can't be a one trick pony. Okay? Now, my view personally is that, again, you'll hear some of these sentiments here because everybody touched on it to one degree or another, is that managing change for the next generation. It really gets to what I, my, what I call my vision of community sustainability and overall livability, okay? That includes everything from economic development, infrastructure decisions, you know, dealing with 
from the county side with the school overcrowding. Um, but really, if we want to be the caring community that we talk about in our vision <laughs> statement in New Arlington, then we have to like think about how all of that affects people. It's not just about dollars and cents. And we want the affordable housing. We want to retain the middle class. We don't want Arlington to merely be a temporary point on your life journey, but some place that you can spend your life once you get here. Thank you.